Survivor. Hi everybody, it's Mr. Barton for Victory Physical Education Online and we're here today to talk about a game called Survivor. Now Survivor is a real fun game that you don't need a lot of equipment for. All you need is a whole bunch of pins and a whole bunch of foam balls. You will also need some floor tape. I've taped 16 rectangles on the floor for this game. I use this game when I play floor pong, so the, uh, the rectangles are already on the floor. So the object of this game is to really teach students about what offense and defense really is and how it works. So what we do is we have them find a partner. This is the lead up activity. And one person is the defense and stands inside the um, rectangle with the pin and the offensive player stands outside of the box and they are the offensive player and they have a ball. The object of the game for the offensive player is to knock down the pin. Defensive player is trying to uh, protect the pin, but they have to stay inside the rectangle. Whereas the offensive player has to stay on the outside of the rectangle. So this is what we have them practice to, for, uh, for about five to 10 minutes, just getting the hang of uh, offense and defense. Now when the offense knocks down the pin, the defense switches with the offense, and the offense becomes the defense, and the defense becomes the offense. So they have a chance to practice just with their partner. So after a couple of minutes of doing that, and they're fully aware of what offense and defense is, then we move to the game Survivor. Now what I do when I play this game is I split them in two groups. Now this is not a team game, this is more or less an individual challenge at this point. But I do have two different color cones and I make them go like the orange team and the blue team or the offense or the defense would go over here and one would go over here. So the object of this game once it starts is that I take about 10 players or 16 if you have a big class and I put a pin in each rectangle and then I send six to eight players depending on how big the class is to go play defense in these cones or in these rectangles those are rectangles not cones and they don't have to be uh, on sides They're, I tell them they can go and find any uh, pin out there it doesn't matter the X's and the O's there's no teams related and when the game begins I put some balls here in the middle and I'll let them know that okay the object of this game is to protect your pin but you're trying to knock down other people's pins too so you're doing two things at once you're playing offense and defense and I allow them to leave their uh, rectangle to go and get a, uh, to get a ball to throw at another pin. But I let them know that if they leave their rectangle, somebody could knock their pin down because there's nobody there to play defense. So they're running to get the ball, picking up the ball. They're throwing it at other people, and they're running back to protect their own. If your pin gets knocked down, they stop throwing the ball. They pick up the pin that was knocked down, and they run back to their cone where there's somebody waiting at that cone to get that pin. So they hand that pin off. And then that person who takes the pin goes and finds an open rectangle without a uh, pin and they take that pin over or that rectangle over and they try to again play offense by knocking other people's down and play defense by protecting their own. Again there's not a team game it doesn't matter whose pin you knock down you just don't want to see yours get knocked down and you want to knock down as many others as per, uh, people as possible. So this is a game of survivor to see who can last the longest out there. So you constantly have kids running back and forth. And again, I have the two cones because I send some kids to the orange cone. Some kids, when their pin gets knocked down, they go to the blue cone. And then teaches them to go back to the end of the line, let the next person who got the pin to go back out, place their pin inside a rectangle and play again. They're exhausted when they're done with this, works on taking turns, you also teach them offense and defense, and it's a lot of fun. So if you watch the video here, I'm going to give you a video demonstration of what it looks like. And as always, thanks for watching. Survivor lead up. Learn offense and defense. Position the defensive player with the pin on the inside of the rectangle. They have to stay inside the rectangle while playing defense. The offensive player has to stay on the outside of the rectangle. They are allowed to go around the outside perimeter of the rectangle, but not in the rectangle. If the offensive player knocks over the pin with the ball, they change positions with the defensive player. If the defensive player accidentally knocks down the pin, they still have to end up switching with the offensive player. So tell them to be careful when they're playing defense not to knock over the pin. This is a great activity and great lead-up game before you play the game Survivor.
He's working hard. Oh, she got it from the outside. Well done. Switch. Oh. Survivor action.